son Darren got uh, messed up on a motorcycle accident in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, they worked on his back and messed his back up. Shipped him back in Jersey. To Lawrenceville couldn't do nothing with him, so we found Dr. Kirshner, took Darren in, four or five hours of surgery, maybe six hours. It wasn't two weeks later, Darren's healed up. And before he started, he had a four to five inch scar all the way down his back. Now get me, four to five inches. When Dr. Kirshner was done, the scar was gone, it was healed, no infection, it was healed. He worked with her, like every day we would come in, he would sit down alongside of us and tell us what we had to do when Darren went home, how to do it. He didn't have to stay in the hospital, he was only doing this and that. Catherine could do it, she could pack it and do this and do that, and she learned everything from me. I mean, I did his back, I did his uh, sore, Dr. Kirschman taught me everything. He said I should have been a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how we come to love Dr. Kirshner. 2004, uh, I come home for lunch and uh, I started back to my truck to, after lunch break and I started back to the truck and my legs went numb like, um, you know, I got like collapsed to the ground. So I sat on the couch for a while and uh, we got a little feelings back in but it was like asleep yet. So I called Dr. Kirshner. because he gave us his numbers. For emergencies, for Darren, we already had every number Dr. Kirshner had. We yeah. had, he's that kind of a doctor. He's not just a doctor, he's your friend. He says, well, surgery should be your last thing because you just shouldn't mess with your back. Because he had already checked me earlier because I had back pain a little bit. So I called him again, told him, I said, look, doc, we got to do something. My legs are asleep, I can't feel my legs. He took an x-ray of my back and found out it had broken, it slipped off, it was dislocated, and told me that I was going to need a cage you in know, it. At first he didn't want the surgery. And Dr. Kirshner told him that there's only one way you can do it, because he said he probably broke it when he was a young kid. And the only thing was holding it together was a muscle. And he didn't want to stop working, so he just... Plus I'd lift uh, Darren, I used to lift him in and out of yes. the wheelchair all the time, you know, and never bothered me, believe it or not and just one day it just fell apart. He put the cage in it and you can see me today. Nobody can tell that I got a cage in my back. He was like a family member to us. Yeah. He treated us fantastic. He does the whole world. He's not just for us, he's for everybody. 